Hi everyone, they've come out with two new posters for the Age of Ultron movie with the Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver and on the Friday the 13th here. I wanted to show some things in here of how the symbolism in here is showing about the end of the age coming and when a beast is released upon the world and when the seed of the woman actually bruises the head of the serpent and such. When the second horseman of the apocalypse basically rides, who is red. Well, let's take a look at this poster right here. We're going to show this guy right here from the Illuminati on there. Can you see him on here yet? He causes war, and he actually causes people to kill one another, is what the second horseman of the apocalypse does. It's shown right here in this very cryptic video called I Pet Go 2, which shows Obama setting the world up for a giant 911 event to start World War III and the apocalypse. Over here on the school board, it shows all the different 911 events, the Twin Towers, Oklahoma, and such. And it shows this shark going after the church. And see this lightning falling? As in the Bible, it says the devil falls as lightning. And you can see this giant split coming right here. You can even see LOL right on the screen. You did see the dragon rising also, didn't you? But here's the woman of the Bible. And she takes all these people in blue that are supposed to go to heaven with her through this door. And then she drops this apple. It's in the book of Daniel, a new type of host, a new Eucharist, a new church rises up. And it's all part of a balance. A big trick is coming. This is the door for grace and mercy. See how she's protected in the circle? She drops the apple, the new Eucharist. And it goes over to Obama. Obama has the silver tip boots and is taking this gold down here, just as when Judas took money to betray everybody. And then this new Eucharist will blend the two halves, like the white and the black, the white and the black being blended together, the two different realms, creating abominations upon the earth. And then war will start. This represents the red horseman in the apocalypse coming. See Obama sweating it because Judas fell after he betrayed Jesus Christ. Something's going to happen to Obama too. And to the USA. This shows Psalm 23, which is calling for the Lord to prepare a place for us amongst our enemies. Like we're all going to the wedding feast of the Lamb. That's why we keep watch around the all dates of the 23rd also. And see the lightning? And then the USA falls. The USA is ripped in half by another Twin Towers-like event. And the ladder to heaven is broken. It's gone. And now they blend the two halves together. As you watch all through this, war starts and the end of the age begins through there. But that's what all that represents. Here she is standing right here. This is actually Washington, D.C. In other words, a lot of the things in this Avengers movies is going to happen, coming. This is Washington, D.C., right here, District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., but this is the capital of the USA, and it's all going according to the script. In other words, everybody's following the script of the Bible perfectly, and you can see right here, this Pope figure. See him right here? This Pope? And you can see right here, See how it says an ellipse? It's during some type of an alignment. And in the Bible it says the woman is granted the wings of an eagle. See the eagle right there? Eagle nest. All those going with Jesus are leaving, going through that open door. As they just showed back here. We're going through the door. And this will bruise the head of the world. It's going to destroy everything. In other words, by giving this to the New World Order guys and letting them go do all their stuff, it's actually going to destroy them and destroy the world. That's what it says in the Bible, that, that even the New World Order, it all just fails, it falls apart, that they destroy each other in the end. You can see this big jet, this represents the woman, and all of us being caught away, and a giant grievous head wound event happening to the Vatican and to the USA. On the bottom is what's shown for the harp machine, and it represents giant earthquakes and such, and it's all meant to happen by the Bible scripture. And then down here, the little horn of the Bible rises up. 
with that red Eucharist. See how it's red right there where the, the football stadium is? Right there? The little horn of the Bible rises up. But now, this is the tricky part. Now us and Jesus Christ and the woman are all above this. You see right now how the church is basically above this jet. Well, when this hits that in the face, we go to ascension with Jesus and go to the throne. And then he rises back up as the little horn and is basically stuck underneath us all. No matter how high he gets or what he does, we're above him. See, that's how these things are work. It's very tricky for all these things. Now you can see the woman. This happens an awful lot like this Matrix movie, for those that have seen this thing right here. The Matrix movie. When Neo was created, the good guy, it also created this bad guy. So, in other words, for all of us to be born into our new immortal bodies and to leave, an Antichrist type figure will be born here on earth. And then when we all come back with Jesus to fight him on our white horses. And this right here spreads across the world. Now, some people have said that they've seen like two energy balls right there. Perfect. You can also see the two domes right by her breasts, which is when we are all born, as we've shown. See right up here by the two domes, the eagle rises, and at the same time, the beast rises. We get our new immortal bodies as the wise virgins, and then the beast rises, and the foolish virgins have to go to the guillotines to prove themselves to get to heaven then. Yeah, I mean, that's the only way in then. What can you see there? Can you see this guy yet? Him coming? See, in other words, for Jesus to give birth to us, see this eagle? This You can even see that this represents the two domes. See the wings and see how it has little nipples right on it? As we go up and are born into our new immortal bodies and go take the throne, he is comes down here and is basically born out down here. It, it's a perfect balance. It's the way that it goes. Can you see him yet? Right there. Now can you see him? Now? Right there. That's him. That's the Bane guy that we keep showing. That is him coming. See, he comes down and goes through and in, is basically born here on Earth. We go up. Boom. Just like the Ultron figure coming and he causes war. Him coming at the same time. As we smash him in the face and leave, he is born here on Earth. And there he is. They get their new red Eucharist. They get to go give out to the world, which will destroy everybody. It will create all of these Smiths. You see this guy right here? Just like all of the Ultrons and the black goo. But this destroys the old world order and sets up the new world order. And We have to escape during that little window is the way Jesus has it. We have to go through the door of grace and mercy as he comes down and then the door is shut. Just like this. See the door over there? We're all stuck in this barbed wire. We leave with the woman, and she drops that red apple. And they start giving out their new Eucharist. See it right there? He comes down and gives that out. Right there. Confess with your mouth, the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart, God hath risen him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. So you can see, I keep telling everybody, it's going to be an exchange. As we go to the wedding feast of the Lamb, this thing is going to be released upon the world. Like the Bane character from, you know, the Batman movie. Like the Ultron character. The second horseman of the apocalypse. That makes everybody kill one another. He's like a red smoke. Like a red mist. The beast from the bottomless pit. May God have mercy on us all. Thank you very much, everybody. This is real.
and right in front of us all day long. Can you see that? That's him coming and the two domes as we keep showing. God have mercy. Something more powerful than any of us. Everyone creates the thing they dread. Ultra in the flesh. No matter who wins or loses, trouble always comes around. You've meddled with something you don't understand. We have no place in the world. Oh boy.